Hi friends, I am Rijo. Uh, today we are discuss the topic Azure Network Security Group. So what is the learning objective today we are plan to discussing? Def definition of Azure NST and NST configuration and one demo to creating the NST. So we will go for our uh, learning objective first one define Azure NST. So what is Azure Network Security Group? NST is a virtual firewall but no dedicated firewall appliance. So NST is same like a firewall, they will do the same like firewall process, okay. Yes, NST control the traffic flow in the virtual network and it established an inbound and outbound traffic route filter what traffic allowed and what traffic will be denied. And it associate with network interface or subnet. You can connect with uh, both network interface or subnet. And each security rule assigned for the priority value. Lower value how I, I private for if you make the rules the what are the rule number you will give example you will give make one rule is like a hundred and the other rule will be you make the 99 so 99 is the highest priority value so they will run first next one you can see his diagram you can see here we have two subnet subnet one and subnet I will take the pen. You can here you can see subnet 1 and here you can see the subnet 2. So we will uh, give the NST in the subnet subnet level. Okay. Here you can see two subnet. We will put one in the network security and another one in the NIC level like a, a network interest. So whatever the rule you will assign here. Uh, it both will be inbound or not. But maybe if you allow the internet the traffic will be go for the internet for the here and the traffic will be returned back to from the here so whatever the rule will be you will implement here it will be affect for the both nic and subnet okay so here you will give the two nst one for in subnet level and one for in the nic level so whatever the rule you will be assigned for uh, nst level if example you will allow nst level rdp okay you will not allow for the NIC level RDP is not allowed. So what happened if you already allow the traffic will be go here and it will be blocked from here. So whatever the rule will be available here also is already need to override from the here also. So just we will now go for our Azure portal. I will show you how to we can configure the NST network security group. Okay. So just we will go for now our Azure portal. Now I reach our Azure portal. Uh, we will go for our uh, resource group first. So whatever I will show you, this is my VNet demo. My previous uh, video I show already how to create the virtual network and uh, in the VM also. Okay. So first we need to check our VMs. I am already created my VM here. I not make again for that video. So you can visit my previous video. Okay. I will give in the description. So here we will go for the our uh, virtual machine so this is our virtual machine we have public ip address just wait on this loading yeah we have a public ip address and vnet subnet level we select the vnet so just we go for the networking level here we not attach with our network security group. you can see here inbound rule and outbound rule not applicable because we don't put any network security group this network interface does not contain network security group so we need to first step we need to make our network security group then after that we attach the network security group in the virtual machine okay so i just go for microsoft azure and i just go for our resource group then after that i just go vnet demo then here we just create type network security group network so we will select network security group just click and create so just create So already we select our uh, resource group VNet demo and we will give the name for network security group NSG demo T demo VM one. Okay. Then we select the region, then tag and review and create. 
so just waiting for the network security group will be created so after that what we will do we will attach this nst in the network security group in our vm okay just waiting for the initial deployment okay after complete i will come back see our uh, deployment is completed so just we will go for our uh, microsoft azure resource group then now here our uh, security group already created so we will just click that uh, network security group so you can see here some default rule already Azure will be provided so what is that rule you need to remember the default rule you cannot delete okay you can see here the delete button is disabled so what is the rule inbound rule allowed vnet port any protocol and virtual network source it will be allowed through virtual network and allow Azure load balance also the traffic will be allowed to Azure load balance so deny all inbound if you have no any virtual network or Azure load all the traffic will be inbound traffic will be denied same like this one outbound rule also deny all outbound rule if you know virtual network or like but this rule already assigned for internet is allowed and here you can see also virtual network traffic also allowed so this is default rule okay so what we will need to do for we need to attach with this NS uh, our security group for our our uh, network interface or our subnet so how to begin you can click here you can assign or you can assign from here also subnet. so I just click for here network interface I just assign you can assign for both the subnet and both for the network so I just go for a network interface I just associated so what is our uh, NST demo for cannot associate can be associated with the network security group so what is our uh, network uh, security group nst demo vm17 you can attach here or you can okay cancel okay also you can just go for subnet and also you can be associated just click this one you can select your uh, virtual network vnet and you can which subnet you want to assign you just click that uh, assign and okay so just I will uh, currently I am not assigning I just go for our uh, resource group just to go for our resource group then we will just open our VM so just to go here VM so here we will click our network see currently there are no any port and you need to check here which subnet you are assigned vnet subnet 1 okay and whatever your network interface card is NST demo VM 1759 and virtual network VNet summit. So again we will go for our resource group. Then we just go for our security group. So I just uh, add with the network interface NIC level just associated. So this is our uh, NST demo in network. Okay, just click. So now what happened? Our uh, NIC level and network interface associated with our uh, network security. Also, you can assign for, but currently we assign for that one. Also, you can associate with our, like this one. You can also assign with VNet one and subnet one. You can assign like this one. Then click OK. Okay. Currently, I am not assigned because I am already assigned with the network interface. Okay. So we will check is assigned, yeah, that already assigned public IP address and private and NSD demo VM virtual machine. This we and because we our virtual machine name is NSD demo, we already apply. So now we I just go for our uh, the resource group again. Then I will check for check for our uh, virtual mission now. Just to go for networking. See now here inbound port rule, outbound port rule because we already attached that network. Network security to NST demo we attach it to the NST demo one five in back zero subnet one network interface. We assign for the one network interface. So here you can see inbound port rule already there and outbound port rule also there. The same rule will be here. Application security again. I will I will teach this one in the later. So what uh, I will plan to do in now because currently our virtual machine you cannot connect with it remotely so what's the problem because we not allow for the rdp you need to check that one just to go for overview and just here you can just connect 
see here the native load balancer just we will go for native just select this one you can see here currently they will check validity of requesting configuration port 3389 currently there no port 339 not open but they will checking for this one if you if you open they all automatically green will become so can see now unable to configure the just time of virtual machine standard policy JIT policy not configure the virtual machine because we don't allow it to the RDM. so just we will go for allow the inbound port rule so go for here network then we will allow the inbound port rule for the how to we can allow so just click add inbound port rule from here so source any source i just source port also start and destination what destination any destination and you can apply for ip address service tag whatever you need and source also you can apply for the anyone you need. so just i will for custom you need to go for custom also you can go for http rdp or if you automatically select rdp and also you can go for the custom i just select for the rd because we will 339 port will be open and you can select dna or allowed i will say allowed the any rdp inbound port so priority automatically coming or if you need to change you can change but i will go for automatically and then i will give the description this is allow the rdp connection then i just click add so now the security rule is created so currently you can see handle allow any rdp inbound port tcp protocol any in source or destination so we allow the inbound rule for allowing the rdp connection we will go to again just to click the connect button okay now we will check again our uh, rdp connection again we just check it now so because we allowed the rdp connection now so now public ip address is okay so the while taking the pre-request configuration for the port 369 33989 is accessing or not so just waiting for the configuration they will check in now in the system yeah see now the pre-requesting configuration is working and port 3389 before is not accessible is coming in like a red color so we will just download our rdp connection so here then i go for my downloading folder then just double click see now our uh, we will give our and i just give our rdp connection in computer username password for remote desktop so just waiting for the configuration see now you understand how to allow the rdp connection in the ns network control so now we will go for uh, our internet and we will check the internet access or no because already you see the outbound route the internet will be accessible so just to go for here yeah. then we will type one with bing.com okay then we will search anything like i will search apple So now you can see here uh, internet uh, accessible in our virtual machine. So now we will what we will do? we need to block our internet connectivity. So this rule is we will before we will put inbound rule. Now we will put our outbound rule because with this virtual machine no need to connect the internet. So just we again go for our uh, our in network configuration here. Then we will block for the outbound rule. So just you just uh, go for outbound port rule, then add rule. So source we will put any source, no problem. And uh, support and the destination you need to put the service because what you don't want we don't want internet. So we will select our internet, and you can give here custom, and don't want to any connection. Just I will put star any DNA priority i will put 100 and this one then the internet connection okay. 
this rule in an internet connection. So just add that rule. So now we will do the rule outbound. We don't want to connect. So you, you can see here deny internet connection. So already you allowed the internet connection here. So what happened once because the low priority is under because this will be run first. Okay. So this is the priority. You can see here the priority level. 100 is the priority level. So this one is denied. Okay. So just we will go for a, a, again our uh, and we will check internet accessible or no. So, sir. And then open it. And then check apple.com. So we will checking our uh, because we already put the rule uh, our outbound connection will be deny the internet connection. So just we will check for its uh, uh, see now you can see you cannot reach this page because you don't have the internet connection. We will disable our outbound rule for the internet connection. So now you can understand how to we can configure inbound and out so inbound rule deny the internet connection. So now you understand how to we can configure the inbound and outbound rule. Okay. So just uh, now I wind up my topic. Now you understand what is network security group and how to we can add the network security group in the interface and how to we can add the inbound and outbound rule. Thank you for if you have liked my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.